The farm's been in the family for, I'm the, I, I'm the third generation, my nephew would be the fourth generation, almost 100 years. And on our farm, we have about two miles of the upper tributary of the Council Creek drainage area. And we've planted all native species, trees and shrubs to help cool the water, filter the water, provide cover for wildlife, pollinators, insects, bees, birds. I was part of the team that helped develop a thing we call ECREP, which is Enhanced Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program. First year we had one project. Next year we had three. Third year we had 27. The agricultural community is buying into it because of the multiple benefits we're getting. I had this land that I didn't know what else to do with, and I thought it'd be neat to put that back in this forested land. I leased them 26 acres, and to me, it's just a beautiful working relationship. Well, they're getting more different. Wildlife is coming in there because there is vegetation and trees and stuff for them to be there. We're getting cleaner water. We're getting cooler water. We're stopping erosion. We're filtering chemicals, fertilizer. We're getting better watersheds. We're getting better wildlife protection. We all recognize we have got to protect these natural resources or we're gonna lose. Water's a public asset, so as it passes through our property, we need to make sure that we protect that. Sometimes you know what is right, but it's hard economically to do it. And because of this partnership, we're able to economically also do it. 